After months of improvement, the number of foreclosures has begun to creep up again. But for the foreclosure cowboys we're about to meet, that bad news could be good news. Here's ABC's Ryan Owens with tonight's Realty Check. Welcome home, sweetie. Mike Baird and Doug Clark are business partners, among the resourceful few who've actually figured out how to make money in this topsy-turvy housing market. You know you got a good house when you've got a shopping cart just chilling in your driveway. They do it by flipping foreclosed homes. It's hit and miss over here in this area. 56 grand on this. Is that going to be cheap enough? They've sold a thousand and counting. There's a lot of homes to choose from. There's a lot of properties in default. We could be walking into a huge mess. Get out of the neighborhood before you get shot. It's the same story for much of the country. Last month, one out of every 563 housing units nationwide went into foreclosure. Nevada has the highest rate, one in 180. California is next with one in 243. In Utah, where Mike and Doug are, it's one out of more than 500. Their business, which they operate together out of Salt Lake City, is not for the faint of heart. Do I have any other bids? They buy these foreclosures at auction, which means they have to put down their money. Is anyone else jumping on it? No one's even bidding, dude. Before they ever step inside. So what they discover once they do can be disturbing. That right there, that's math. And disgusting. That's not ketchup. That ain't ketchup. That ain't ketchup. Uh, Who stains? This is off the charts. The perfect recipe for reality TV. We're with it. What does it say about the housing market right now in the United States that there are so many foreclosures? You can do a reality show about it. It's a huge problem. I mean, yeah, we're trying to show what it really is. The names, the faces, the stories, the places, because we see it and most people don't. I'm Mike Baird. And I'm Doug Clark. Their show debuted this season on Spike TV, a cable channel that caters to macho men. Put your money where your mouth is. I think you're going to see a much more real, raw feel to our business and how intense it is. Doug and I are head to head every day simply because it's a lot of money. It's true, Mike and Doug don't have to manufacture much drama. Take this home they bought in a nice Salt Lake suburb. They paid 190000 expected to put about 35000 back into it, and sell it for two forty. a quick profit of at least 15000 That was the plan until we walked down into the basement. You can already smell this a long time before you get down here. Yeah, it, it hits you like right about here, boom. There is mold all over the walls and something even worse growing out of that damp carpet. Whoa, 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 what is this? What just is this? Mold for real? This looks like something out of a these are, biology these are, class. These are actually mushrooms that are starting yeah. to grow up and this is carpet. fungus. This is bad. I mean, yeah, this, this is, is bad. about as bad as it gets as far as mold and fungus. Absolutely. The next day, Mike and Doug were back in the basement with hazmat suits, ripping up the carpet and tearing down the walls. All of this work, and they still will not make a profit on a house that looked oh so promising from the outside. The biggest risk for us is we don't know what we're buying. That is risk. Homes like this one, they nicknamed the Dungeon House because of this creepy room out back that they quickly what? demolished. There we go, there we go. Oh! Oh! Okay, guys, I look around here and I see a dump. What do you see? Money. Absolutely. There's money here. They bought it for just 51000 they will put a mere 7000 in over the next week or so and put it on the market for 90000 a quick profit of more than thirty grand. So is this the most expensive house you guys have ever bought? <laughs> By far. Yeah. How much did this one go for? Just over $1.6 And you hope to sell it for? <sighs> Two and a half Two to and half three million. Great. It has six bedroom suites, ten bathrooms, a pool and in-ground trampoline out back, a racket and basketball court inside. Mike and Doug had 25 minutes to decide if they wanted to buy. Compare this house to the moldy basement house or a number of other houses we've seen. Which one gives you the biggest nightmares? Is it this one just because there's so much money tied up in it? Absolutely. Yeah. Without question? Absolutely. Yeah. We know we can fix meth. We can fix mold. We can fix a lot of things. 
But in a house like this, in this market, this is maximum risk for us. Stop! As we said, not for the faint of heart. But if you start small and simple, these two say there's no reason you can't turn this tough housing market into real cash. After all, they've turned it into reality TV. They come with no keys and no guarantees. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in Salt Lake City.